here today. Um, what kind of media technologies do you think you were exposed to? Navigation system in a car? Bus stops? Maybe building facade? And in your hand? Yes, media is everywhere today. So if you think about it, convergence of clothing and technology is nothing new. And artists has been experimenting with new technology over the time since old days, like fresco paints in Renaissance, analog photography, and computer animations. Like this armory is a, in West and also East, a very good example of wearable technology of old days. And you can think of uh, like crochet, watches, glasses, they were all wearable technologies in old days. If, but before I talk about wearable technology projects of mine, I'd like you to all think about one question. How could one compute with wearable? If someone says wearable computer, you can easily imagine someone wearing literally a computer on your body, like this. Well, it's a start. But if you really think about it, when computer becomes wearable, it changes the way we compute with it. It's because it's no longer about keyboard, mouse, or screen. It's about the body. And we have an expression called body language. And it can express through gestures, heartbeats, motion, temperatures, and much more like environmental changes. And I found this aspect of wearable technology the most interesting. So um, imagine, um, imagine social interaction in Seoul City. Like I came in 2007, moving from New York City. And I realized how much bumps, or light bumps, in the public space in Seoul. And I wanted to express in wearable technology. Imagine how you could express through your all these like, you know, simple interactions such as a bump. I imagine a jacket that interpret in visual patterns of a bump called Bruce jacket. So um, I don't know about you, but I get, I find here and there small like bruises on my skin. And then I don't even know where I got them. So I found it very interesting how Bruce changes pattern, so I couldn't really make my Bruce to change patterns on my skin, so I used second skin, which is a wearable clothing. So I decided to make a Bruce pattern into a flower. So when there is a bump, I can change a pattern of flower as if it's blooming. So I called it Bruce flowers. So this bruised flowers slowly appears when there is a slight bump, and then change colors, and then slowly disappears like this. In order to create this prototype, I experimented with thermochromic inks and paint, like there uh, in the photo in the lab. Um, I do I painted with different colors of thermochromic. Um, colors and thermochromic color is that reacts to temperature changes. So uh, I changed, I experimented with different colors with thermochromic paints along with different temperature levels. Uh, I did that by utilizing heating wire and I drew flower pattern with heating wire and I programmed it with electronic circuit to um, make it active. Here is another version of a Bruce flower. Uh, it's in green. I have been playing with many different flower patterns to come with this Bruce flower jacket. 
This project is still ongoing, and then I will expand furthermore with the flower patterns in Seoul, to so so it can have a different patterns on each jacket. In the world of technology, the jacket, like this jacket, it will change the wearer's experience in public space after passing through survey, very crowded survey. Um, so where the technology is more than carrying a computer on your body. It is a technology to listen to your body and mind and as well as expressing them. Here is this chip, tiny, tiny chip called accelerometer. And this chip, through this chip, you can easily detect how body tilts or balance. Thanks to this technology, we could imagine a lot of different world of technology projects. What would you imagine to create in world of technology? I imagine to create in technology, world of technology art, starting with what if light flows and splashes like water if it has a gravity. This poetic expression of body movement is titled Gravity of Light. Gravity of Light is a wearable that was made with 3D printing technology. When I first got my hands on 3D printer last year, I couldn't help myself creating a wearable project immediately. And, and I want you to create this very flexible textile that can look like weaves or weave like a crochet. And advantage of 3D printing technology is that I can control and I can experiment design in 3D inside out to contain electronic parts seamlessly. And another advantage of using 3D printer was, um, you know, I could change colors, shapes, and thickness of module instead of sending them into factory. Here's a photo of a collaboration. This project, Gravity of Light, the output is a result of a beautiful collaboration with three other students of mine, Kyungmo Baek, Ye Jin Jo, and Hyun Song. My sketches were transformed into 3D modeling, and we were designing lighter and smaller electronic circuits to work with the sensors and movement. And also, we did a lot of testing 3D printing and soldering numerous LED chips. So the result of this, I show you in video, this one. So, as you see in this project, wearable is not just about carrying a computer on your body. Wearable technology is about expressing your subtle body movement like this project. So if this is gravity of light is a wearable project about subtle body movements, then the project body graffiti is about expressing fierce body movement. Body graffiti is a performance wearable art that displays illusion of a POV, persistent of vision technology, to draw graffiti in the air through fierce body motion. POV, persistent of vision, is a phenomenon of an eye after image is believed to be persist longer than actually it is. A very good simple uh, example is a flipbook animation. Instead of flipbook, 
they use ink to display the image, right? But this one is displaying in blinking, flickering LED lights. It's in Korean. I'm sure you all can read creation, right? When I met a producer who introduced me to to um, oh, so when I met a producer who introduced me to a world champion b-boy crew last for one, I was excited and then I was thinking, well, b-boy breaking dance, b-boy is a public performance art, and I think. They shouldn't need a screen or stage. They should be performing anywhere. They want it as long as you know, it's dark. So I decided to combine visual messages such as graffiti into wearable for them to wear and perform in anywhere as long as there is a darkness. So this is a result, the image is a result of performance I had in 2010 with the B-Boys. And then they were head spinning and then displaying a message, visual message that's 함께하는, which is actually open creativity. In order to create that, I first designed a pair of sneakers to display POV, but that totally didn't work because Angles of a b-boy dance movement and speeds were very crucial to display POV display. So after a lot of rehearsals with the dancers, I decided to create vest, set of vest and shin guards like that. As you, you know, I don't know how many of you could break dance here, but not everybody can have spin, right? So I decided to create another version of body graffiti which is a pair of boots. So this POV display, this graffiti message can be displayed with very simple natural interactions such as swinging legs like this. Well, I had actually another imagination on how to play with this one. I wanted actually, a uh, wanted choreograph a group of marchers who are wearing these boots. And I can design their formation to display different words in some large square. That is, if there is enough fun and time, right? But imagination is something great. So. I started as a visual artist, and I learned technology in order to share experience. I learned interaction design, soldering, sewing, programming, much more. Just to create bodily expression through wearable technology. In close future, we can push this concept further to also include bio-inspired projects nanotechnologies, and much more rapidly developing technologies. How one computes in wearables? I can think of many different outputs, and so can you. Only our imagination limits what can be done in wearable technology. Thank you.